United Airlines is under fire today after barring two girls from boarding a plane for wearing leggings. Passenger Shannon Watts says she couldn't believe what was happening at the airport in Denver. I was really angry. I have four daughters who live in yoga pants. They travel in yoga pants. So I, I was really outraged because it seemed like such a double standard. She tweeted, a United Gate agent isn't letting girls in leggings get on a flight from Denver to Minneapolis because spandex is not allowed. Since when does United police women's clothing? It just seemed very sexist to me. It also seemed like they were embarrassing and sexualizing a young girl. Social media went ballistic. Actress Patricia Arquette tweeted, United, why aren't you allowing girls to wear leggings on flights? Who is your gate agent policing girls' clothing? And this from supermodel Chrissy Teigen. I have flown United before with literally no pants on, just a top as a dress. Next time, I will wear only jeans and a scarf. William Shatner sent United this cheeky photo wearing spandex in an episode of Star Trek. United, see, I've done it before. Responding to the firestorm, the airline went into damage control. This was a hot topic online last night and into today. Today, United Airlines is standing by its decision. It says the young ladies who were wearing the leggings were so-called pass riders, meaning that they are relatives or friends of United Airlines employees and were flying for free or at a deep discount. All employees and pass riders are considered representatives of United. And like most companies, we have a dress code that we ask employees and pass riders to follow, the airline said in a statement. The dress code prohibits form-fitting lycra or spandex tops, pants, and dresses, offensive or derogatory words or graphics on clothing, excessively dirty clothing that has holes or tears, or anything inappropriately revealing. Well, they have a dress code, which is absolutely allowed. However, they might want to look at updating the dress code to make it more in this decade because leggings for many people have become an acceptable item of clothing. We found plenty of legging clad passengers at LaGuardia Airport today. I don't know how you can dictate how someone dresses on a flight. The company clarified its rules with a posting on the United website. To our customers, your leggings are welcome, specifying that the anti-leggings dress code code only applied to pass riders. I think the best thing they can do going forward is to say, this is our policy. We're going to take a close look at how this was handled and then just let it go.